Hello, my dearest confidant. Um, something that's been going on with me lately is that I've been trying to really get into what does Alicia want, right? I mean, I've been doing that for the past few years and I've gotten to a place where I feel like I'm beginning to know. Um, I'm beginning to shed all of those layers. I, you know, the ones that were really flaking um, a few years ago have already fallen off, right? But just recently, I just had another change in friendships. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that. Um, but yesterday, something even more subtle happened, and I realized I didn't choose myself. I chose the people-pleasing route, and it, like I said, it was just something really subtle, and it wasn't something that I thought about at the time. I mean, I kind of did because I mentioned it, but it wasn't like I still actually truly honored myself and I wanted to share it with you because I thought it was important. Now, granted, nobody did anything wrong in this situation. Um, it's just another learning point, right? I don't classify myself in, I, in, in, in the terms of I did it right or I did it wrong because I don't believe that I can make a wrong step just like you can't make a wrong step. You're just changing direction. Um, and sometimes you change yourself in a direction that you don't want to go until you change direction again. Um, and if you look at your life that way, instead of looking at it like it's a mistake, then you'll feel more um, balanced, if you will. But so anyways, uh, my husband and I went out to eat to a restaurant that we frequent a lot. And we had just been there a few days prior and they had a special that they no longer had. It was a one day special. And... Um, for whatever reason, my husband thought that I wanted it again. I, I don't know why, but he did. I guess maybe because I really, really liked it. Like, it was perfect that day. Um, and so when we got to the restaurant, um, he had asked if they still had the special. But he said, because she was really looking forward to it, talking about me. And before he had said anything, it wasn't even on my mind. I was looking forward to that specific day's special. That's what I wanted. Um... And uh, the owner was really nice and accommodating and she made me the special anyways. And I had told my husband at the time, like, why'd you say that? Like, I didn't, I didn't say that. I, I never said that I was really like looking forward to that. And he's like, well, I know you really liked it. And I'm like, okay, you, you know, you're right. And so the special was good again. Absolutely it was. Um, but it wasn't as good as the first day. And I was thinking about that this morning. And the reason why it wasn't as good yesterday was because that's not what I wanted. I did it because he wanted me to. And I didn't want to get in an argument with him at the restaurant. Um, and I tend to specifically call him out when he tends to assume my needs and I don't appreciate that. That's not something that I appreciate in any relationship. Like, just ask me, like, just ask. Um, because I would ask, right? I wouldn't assume that you wanted it. And so, anyways, I was thinking about it this morning, and I'm just like, it didn't taste as good because I did what they wanted me to do, or, I, you know, I went along with it instead of saying, no, that's not what I want, I want this instead. Um, and I didn't know what I wanted at the time, and so instead of me getting in tune with myself and deciding what I wanted, um, I did what he wanted, and I made him happy, or placated him or whatever it was right and I'm thinking that I'm doing him a favor but at disservice to myself and it was very subtle like I said he didn't do anything wrong he just made a statement that I wasn't necessarily in line with and instead of me course correcting and aligning with what I really wanted it it was that people pleasing thing coming out again and um it made me a little teary-eyed today because I realized such a subtle thing for 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 him and for me at the time um, ended up being something a lot bigger and I realized that I hurt myself in that moment and you know it's those little tiny things like that that happen that make me question my intuition when I am alone and I'm like damn what do I want you know and there's a lot of times where I absolutely consider other people in my decision making process and I don't think just strictly about what's true and good for me and I'm really trying to get to a place where that's no longer the case. And if you're following along with me, you're either doing it because you like watching the animals or you're doing it because you believe that a lot of the things that I say resonate within you, even if it's just the animals or the other things like this stuff. And 
So the, the purpose of me making this video was to say that you need to pay attention to those little things that those little times when you deny yourself because they end up being big things. And when it comes time for you to make a larger decision, you're thinking I need outside input because I can't trust myself. Not necessarily subconscious or consciously you're thinking that, but you're thinking it subconsciously. Well, I can't trust myself, so I need to ask somebody else. Um, I've made wrong decisions in the past, and so I can't trust myself. That's what you're telling yourself every time you don't listen to that. And I did that yesterday. And again, the food was great. There was nothing wrong with what anyone did. I just didn't trust myself enough to stand up for myself uh, you know, and say, oh, no, actually, um, I'm good on that. I'd like this instead. And so, yeah, it's just, again, it's just a little thing. And um, I thought it was important to, to annotate it here for those that watch this video. Um, if you trust yourself with the little things and you feel like you can stand in front of that younger version of yourself and say, no, 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 that's not what they want. This is what they want. Then you'll begin to trust yourself and appreciate yourself more. And it just helps you with the larger things when they come up. I love you, my dearest confidant. Until next time.